Well guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I wanted to share with you a product I just ordered. I don't do product reviews very often, but uh, this one's one I made a small investment in, something I thought I could use. I thought I'd share it with you because I didn't find a whole lot of eBay, uh, excuse me, YouTube reviews on this product. This is the Colossal Tech Cut 50F Pilot Arc Plasma Cutter. Um, Obviously, this is a uh, Chinese model, but I bought it from uh, eBay user USA Products Inc. because uh, they seem to be a U.S. importer. Uh, it was shipped to me from a provider in the U.S., and they personally offer a one-year warranty on the product, and that was attractive to me. Uh, granted, this wasn't a, a huge investment. I think this was this cost me about three hundred and fifty dollars shipped. Uh, so. If you're interested after the video, uh, I'll leave a link in the, in the description of the video and you can check out this eBay user's store and he has many different, uh, uh, many different plasma cutters to choose from. So I just got this in and I cracked it open and I thought, man, I, I, ought, to, I ought to make a video about this so you guys can see it. So here's what I'm going to get to it now. I've already cut the box open, but I, I want to go over a couple of things that come with this that I thought were pretty interesting just to begin with. <clears throat> of course, you have the... Uh, the operation manual. Uh, I'll take a look at that here in a minute. This isn't going to be really an assembly video so much as it is just a, me telling you what I think is interesting about this and uh, some of the things I like so far. So first off, one of the things I noticed that was a big deal to me was uh, this piece of hose uh, that came in the box. Now, if you've watched any of the unboxing videos or any of the review videos for some of these uh, less expensive Chinese plasma cutters, they usually come with a clear piece of chintzy hose uh, that's supposed to be for the air supply. And I was really impressed to find this piece of hose in here. I don't know if this came directly from the manufacturer this way or if uh, or if the eBay seller who is selling these um, swaps that stuff out. Uh, but if he does, good on him. If not, and it comes from the manufacturer, uh, manufacturer that way, great. But this is a, this is a oxygen grade hose uh, rated for 300 psi, so sufficiently sturdy for what you're going to do. And uh, really, I'm I'm just impressed by that. Not bad. So that was something I noticed. I'm going to set that aside. Um, also, I don't, I don't know if you can see in here, I'll tilt this box. This came very well packaged. Uh, uh, everything in here is nice and sturdy. Um, nothing doesn't look like anything was damaged. Uh, looks like there's sufficient padding, so I'm happy with that. When you get this package, you'll open it up, and inside there is, it looks like your, looks like we've got the water separator. Uh, for your air supply, so I'll look at all that comes with uh, comes with some hose clamps and barbs in there. Um, looks like a decent a decent little unit. So we'll be we'll be going over that some more here as I tear this down. Now I'll go over little pieces after I pull everything out of here. I hope everything is looking all right. I'm shooting this with my phone. It's the first time I've tried doing video with the phone. <clears throat> Inside you'll find, uh, oh, I, I had this pulled out already. This is the, uh, this is the ground clamp that comes with it. It looks like a, looks like a decent ground clamp, uh, much like you find on, I don't know, like a Harbor Freight um, MIG welder like I've got one of those little flux core wire welders. That doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see it, this is the end that plugs into the unit. Hang that back up out of the way. <coughs> We've got this carrying case. This is a fairly decent little carrying case, and I'd imagine inside here you have your plasma torch. And yes, that is correct. Looks like here is the plasma torch. Um, the ends that screw in, the pieces that go to the unit, and here is the actual torch itself. Not a bad looking torch, honestly. I'll, I'll take a closer look at that after I unwrap everything. So we'll put this to the side. We'll set that aside. And let me see, anything else in here? Oh no, let's pull the main unit out and we'll take a look at that. Let me get this box out of the way. All right. So the main unit covered in some foam here. That's nice, some shipping foam. Oh. 
everything all nicely wrapped in plastic. All right. So what have we got here? Well, this thing is definitely small. Um, smaller than I thought it'd be, actually. And I don't know, maybe it weighs 15 to 20 pounds, pretty light. Uh, that's nice. I, I don't do a lot of heavy-duty metal working or heavy-duty shop work. Uh, but every now and again, I do work on heavy equipment. I, I own a backhoe. Uh, I own some heavy trailers. Um, I have a diesel pickup truck. and So I, I do some welding. I do some cutting from time to time. And I figured that having a nice little plasma unit would be a benefit to me. It would make doing some things around my house, my shop, a lot easier. Um, I really hope this fits the bill. I'll let you know as I use it, and uh, I'll definitely do some update videos to let you know how it's running. Uh, but everything looks nice. Got a digital readout here. That's pretty nice. Uh, your on-off switch, of course. Um, here's your amperage. This is, uh, again, the Cut 50F, so it's supposed to be a 50 amp uh, pilot arc unit. I like that because with the pilot arc, it allows you to cut um, maybe some dirty metal a little bit easier. Now, on the, in the description of this item on eBay, it says it will sever cut up to one inch thick material. Um, I don't know about that. I'll try it out. That seems, uh, eh, that, that seems a, a little bit thick for, uh, you know, for a machine like this. But hey, you, you never know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Maybe it will. I've been surprised before. Um, otherwise, the case looks really nice. Um, they've got these nice little covers over every uh, connection point here. Here you can see the Colossal Tech logo. Again, the Colossal Tech logo on this side. Uh, but the case feels nice. The paint seems really, uh, really well done, actually. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. On the back side here, this is where it appears that all of your uh, air goes in. And, of course, here's the input. This is a 220-volt machine only. I didn't buy one of the variable voltage ones because I have access to 220 power out here in my garage, and I wanted to use a 220 volt. It just seemed like, uh, you know, more power is more better, right? So let's, let's take a look at the cord that comes with it. I want to look at that specifically. This cord seems to be... Reasonable core, very pretty decent. I like that. Uh, of course, it doesn't come with an end. Uh, you're going to have to supply your own end, which is fine. Um, you know, go down to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever big box store, and you can pick one up for you know five or ten bucks. Not not a big deal. Uh, but do know that going in, that this does not come with the plug end. It just comes with the cord wire. Um, it looks like the color code's a little funny here. I'll have to look in the manual to see what's what on here, uh, but there you are. Let's see, the cord itself looks to be, let's see how long this guy is. I'll give you an estimation. Looks to me to be about, oh, I'd say you got about eight feet of cord here, maybe seven feet once you, uh, once you get everything set up. So that's not bad, seven feet of cord, I like that. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna cut here for a few minutes and I'm gonna pull some of these other components out and we'll take a look at them. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, one of the very first things I wanted to check out here was the torch that comes with this. I mean, this is the business end of this machine. So let's take a look at it. Um, comes in this carrying bag. I don't know that I'll use that very much, but hey, that's nice. Maybe I'll put the uh, consumables in here and stick them in my storage cabinet. I'm going to set that to the side. <sighs> so what do we got here? Well, this thing comes wire tied together, so let's pull those off and we'll take a look at it. And pull that wire tie. And here's another. Now, got the wire ties loose here. And everything comes... Nice shielding here, I like that. That seems pretty decent. Looks like it'll hold up so long as you're not uh, running it over all the time. I imagine with uh, some sparks that are flying, you'll, you'll probably eat that up. So I may get a section of some old fire hose if I can find it and wrap around there, who knows? That uh, might not be a bad idea. This is the end that connects to uh, the machine itself. Of course, you've got your little 
ground wire here. This screws into the front of the machine and this as well. Um, I believe this is your air supply and of course uh, here's the electrical connection. So that all that all looks pretty decent. I don't see anything wrong with that. That seems to be pretty well made. I'm, I'm happy with that. For $350 that looks pretty good to me. Let's take a look at the torch end here. Covered in plastic. Comes with um, a little guide here, a little spacer guide, so that when you're doing your cutting, uh, you're not you're not touching off directly. Now I imagine you could drag cut with this, but uh, yeah, I kind of like that. If you pop this guy off, let's see if we can get that off there fairly easily. You'll see um, comes with a set of consumables in it. We've got uh, looks like a ceramic cup, and then of course your consumables are here inside that looks pretty decent I from the seller I bought an additional um, set of consumables that you can buy there are different uh, uh, different amounts that you can buy for for various uh, of course for various different costs but um, it was nice to be able to get everything packaged all together and shipped all together and uh, not pay any additional shipping. In fact, the shipping was free from this seller. So again, uh, bonus points there. I really, really like that. So I'm going to snap this guy back on here real quick, if I can get it on there fairly easily. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're back together. Now, the button here is secured with some zip ties. And I guess that's all right. That seems to be pretty standard. I guess that's so you can move this thing around where you want it. That's all right. I don't mind that. I'll probably I'll probably get some heftier zip ties to stick on there. But these seem like they'll do the job. Got a pretty decent snap action there on the switch. That seems okay. The torch itself feels feels pretty good in the hand. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It doesn't feel like a toy. Um, I think this will be just fine. Uh, as far as length on the torch goes, or the torch cable, I'll, I'll give you my estimate here. Let's see, this is, oh, we got six feet. You probably got close to 10, maybe 10, 11 feet here. Oh, that's pretty decent, gives you pretty decent reach. Overall, I'd say that's, uh, that's pretty decent, pretty decent. So I'm gonna put the torch away. And the next thing I'd like to really look at um, is the air water separator that comes with it and I'd like to show some components of that. Okay guys, in this little box comes your air and water separator. Um, this is also your regulator for air pressure. You can kind of crank this guy in and out I believe. Yes, and that's, uh, that's how you change your air pressure. So uh, you've got the body here made out of metal there I'm not sure exactly what probably some pot metal I'd be careful cranking the stuff down in here uh, you've got your out port you've got your in port and then this is for the pressure gauge that comes supplied the pressure gauge is right here and this little guy tells you uh, in PSI uh, and bar it looks like how how much air pressure you got so that's nice nice to have that mounts right on here there is no pressure regulator on the front of the machine uh, you'll notice that uh, as you uh, when we looked at it before this screws right into the front there and tells you how much pressure you got going through so you can set your pressures accordingly has a mounting bracket this mounts to the brack uh, the back of the machine and I believe this little guy just kind of sits in here like so. No, I take that back. There's a little plastic nut here and that sits in through there after you take this plastic nut off. That's what you get for reading the directions. We don't need no stinking directions, right? Let's see. Yeah, that little guy sits on there and then it's screwed down like so and that that holds it to the machine. That's nice. I like that. Seems to be a decent little metal bracket decent shape decent quality no uh, no issues there so so far everything I see I'm, I'm pretty happy with looks pretty nice uh, again for three hundred and fifty dollars what do you want uh, um, 
Well, you want it to work. That's what you want. Because let's let's face it, for some guys uh, like me, three hundred and fifty dollars that's not a it's not a small amount of money. Certainly, maybe won't break me, but uh, it's definitely an investment. Um, comes with these two little hose clamps for connecting up your hose, your air hose to the machine. You've also got these little looks like brass little brass hose barbs. I like that. These are pretty nice. Um, I guess they'll screw into there, into these sides here, and then you mount your hose on, and then secure it with one of these little hose clamps. So that seems to be pretty decent. I would recommend if you're going to put these when you before you put these in here, I would recommend wrapping them with a little bit of Teflon tape. I've heard that they'll leak otherwise. That seems to make sense to me. Uh, so I'll wrap a little bit of Teflon tape on these when I put the unit all together. So that pretty much covers the components you get with this machine. So far, everything looks pretty good to me. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to put this machine together. Um, I don't really think you need to see an assembly. Uh, this thing goes together pretty easily. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there are some instructions here in the manual that will tell you about how to assemble it. And the manual, eh, well, while it's not exhaustive and it definitely doesn't have a, a great breakdown, I think that if you have any bit of mechanical ability, you'll be able to figure out how this thing goes together. Now the one thing I will say as far as the cord goes, in the manual on page 9, at least of mine, it gives you a wiring diagram for the 220 and it says that the brown and the blue are positive. In my case the brown is not brown, it's a red. So the red and the blue are positive wires, the two-tone is a ground. So that's for your 220 wiring scheme. Um, so again, consult your manual. If you have any questions about that, I'm sure you could probably contact the eBay seller and he would he would know about it. But it does have a front and back panel view and a simple connection diagram. Very simple here. So we'll get that all together. Now I do want to mention too that with this unit, you're going to need to have your own air supply. You're going to have to have an air compressor. Um, this doesn't have an internal compressor and an internal air supply, so you need that. Uh, hopefully you know that going in. Don't expect to get a $350 unit that's all encompassed. Um, you do need an air compressor. But if you've got a shop and you're going to be buying an, uh, a plasma cutter, more than likely you've already got an air compressor. Make sure you've got one that can keep up with the demands of the machine. Uh, but I've got a smaller air compressor. It's not not humongous by any means, but uh, I think it'll be fine for what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to I'm going to cut and I'm going to put this machine together, and uh, I might show the wiring of the plug real quick. But otherwise, I'll come back once everything is together and uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got the unit fully assembled, and again, this is the Colossal Tech Cut 50F. Um, I've tried it out since I put it together, and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with it. It cuts really well. I don't have any inch thick material. I do have some half inch stuff, and it cut it pretty well. And I'll, I'll show you a couple of things I wanna point out here um, as I go through this and as I talk about this a little bit. Um, number one, let me just turn the unit around a little bit. You can see how everything hooks up here on the back side. Instead of putting the little hose barb that came with it, this this little guy right here, uh, I put a quick connect on uh, for, for my um, air compressor so that I didn't have to constantly, you know, unscrew or put something, you know, make a dedicated hose. I didn't want that. Uh, so I just put a little quick connect on there, uh, same thread pattern and everything, put a little Teflon tape, stuck it right on there. No problems. Uh, again, here's your adjustment for your pressure, here's your pressure gauge, and I, I had no leaks. I put this together and it worked really, really well. Um, on the cord, uh, this is the type of outlet I have, two, type of 220 outlet, so I just put this guy on there, uh, really standard. The Again, the red and the blue are your positives, and then the multicolored wire, which is a yellow and a green, is your, um, is your common or neutral or whatever. So that's how that all goes together. So again, really simple, just get yourself a plug from one of the big box stores. On the front side of this guy, 
this is where all of your connections go. Again, this is where the ground cable connects. Um, you know, it just pushes right in there and turns. And uh, your torch connects right up here. This is the airflow. This is power, or this is power, I believe. This is for your, uh, this is for your arc, I believe. And then this is for uh, power to the torch. So, again, everything works really well. Um, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised. Um, of course, it takes a little bit of practice to learn how to use a, any type of new unit. I've not really done any plasma cutting before. Uh, I've always done torch cutting or uh, carbon arc cutting, things of that nature. Never really used a plasma cutter, but it was really enjoyable. I'm going to take a minute now and uh, I'm going to set this up in order to make a couple of cuts. So um, I'll be right back and, and you guys, uh, through the magic of YouTube, you won't have to watch all the setup process. You'll just get to see me cutting. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got a little piece of uh, scrap steel here. Uh, this guy is roughly, I guess about a half inch. Let's take a look, let's make sure. Let's check that, let's see, roughly, can you see that? Roughly a half inch thick very close to it. So this is some half inch mild steel. I figure that'll be a pretty good uh, pretty good test of this little unit. I can't imagine cutting much thicker than that on a regular basis. I mean I do have a bandsaw if I need to cut something uh, a lot thicker than that but it really is convenient to be able to just pull out the plasma cutter and bam cut right through something. So I'm gonna kick on my compressor. It's probably gonna get loud here for a minute and I'm gonna get set up to cut this thing. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna kick on the compressor and we're just about ready. Again, not a bad cut. I, uh, I'm i probably more to blame for that than anything else. Uh, I need to learn this machine, need to learn to go slower. But, uh, you know, cuts pretty clean. I'm happy with it. A minute at the grinder and you'd have that all nice and cleaned up. And that's half inch plate, so uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I'll say this for the unit. I'm going to go over here and we'll take a look at it real quick. Now my shop is a wreck. We're going to go handheld now. Here's the unit all, all plugged in. And we're running at uh, 49 amps. I didn't have it cranked all the way up. Again, and I may not have the air pressure set right. But here's the unit. It's running. I want to show you one more thing before we call this, before we call this done. Here's the power switch. Once you flip this off, you'll see that the unit doesn't go off. Keep watching. It takes a couple of seconds. This is to let everything cool down. I saw a lot of people who thought their units were defective because it didn't shut off automatically or immediately as soon as you flip the switch. That's not the case. You want to let the cooling fan run for a few more seconds in order to cool down the internal components. 
So that's it, guys. This is my review of the Cut 50F by Colossal Tech. Um, seems like a great plasma cutter to me. I recommend you check it out uh, if you're in the market for a plasma cutter, uh, especially if you don't want to spend a thousand bucks or so. Uh, $350 seems like a good deal to me. Uh, again, I got this particular unit on eBay. I bought it from eBay seller USA Providers Inc. And I will leave a description, or excuse me, a link in the description below. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. See you next video.